Hello, good morning or good evening whenever you are watching this. I hope you are doing well. My name is Catherine and today I am talking about the series that I am determined to finish this year. are coming up on about halfway through the year, which is <laughs> insane to me. I can't think about it too much. Two of my reading goals this year is to read more of my physical books and to complete more series. These two things do kind of go hand in hand because I am someone who <laughs> will buy full series before reading them. Today, the series I'm going to be talking about have two criteria. One, I have to have started the series. There are some series on my TBR where I want to start them, but like I haven't actually physically started them yet. The other criteria is that the book has to have already been out. So I'm not talking about books where like I read the first one and the second one comes out later this year. I'm talking about books where at least like one to two books in the series are already out. For several of these, the books have been out for a while. Let's get into it. What I have here is in no particular order. It is in the order that I pulled them off of my shelf. It's gonna be a little chaotic. I'll talk a little bit about the books, but let's go. First and foremost is the Duskwalker series by Opal Rain. At this point, there are six books in the series and I've read the first two. I really love this series. First one was my book club pick for last year for Classic Literature Book Club. Love the first one. Second one had some tropes that I didn't love, but like I still really like the writing and I love the world that this takes place in. I'm excited to see how this world develops and how the story gets told throughout because there is kind of an overall arcing like storyline, um, you know, Duskwalkers versus like the Demon King type deal. <laughs> so I'm really excited to see how that develops. And also we do get a lot of appearances from past characters. Like we see these two in the second book quite a bit. So that's always a lot of fun. Next is a graphic novel and that is Lore Olympus. I started reading Lore Olympus when it was on Webtoon years and years ago before it was like out in physical form. And I've been wanting to read like the physical renditions of them for a while. I've also really fallen behind on the webtoon and it is like almost at its end. So <laughs> I want to catch up so that I can be there when the last episode drops um, since I've been following the series for so long at this point. I think technically I've read volumes one through four. There's six volumes out at this point. So I need to catch up with the other two volumes and then catch up with what is on Webtoon. I love the series. I love the art. I'm so excited to see the conclusion of it. Um, it's going to be a really bittersweet moment, honestly. You'll notice that a lot of these are going to be young adult books. I used to read so much young adult and there's so many book series that like I started when I was in my like YA fantasy era and then just kind of fell off because I stopped reading YA fantasy as much. I still really enjoy YA fantasy. Every single time I pick it up, I have a really good time with it. So I want to continue with like YA, YA fantasy, some of those. Um, now I just have a little bit of a different perspective because I know those books aren't meant for me as someone who is now much older than the like young adult range. I just have to like approach them with a little bit of a different mindset. So uh, I do want to continue on with the Truly Devious series. So there's the Truly Devious trilogy by Maureen Johnson. I've read all three of those. These two books from what I understand are spin-off books. So they don't follow the main like plot line, the Truly Devious plot line that we originally had but it still has the like main characters and we're just following Stevie on some like new mysteries. I'm excited to see what those mysteries are. I think that that's a really fun approach, writing these mysteries with the same characters. And yeah, so I haven't read these two yet. I'm really excited to though. The next one is actually the third book in the Defy the Night trilogy. 
I read the first two last year and I fell in love with this world. I think that it's just a really interesting world. There's some really interesting relationships. At times it is predictable, but I kind of like the predictability of it and it just feels so like classic YA fantasy. I'm excited again to see how the story concludes. The third book came out, I want to say like two months ago, and I keep on... <laughs> I keep on hitting deliver later at the library. Again, I just haven't really been in the mood, but I do really want to finish this series and see the like big conclusion of everything. This one hasn't been out as long, and that is Prisoner's Throne by Holly Black. I think this has only been out for a month, so I don't feel too bad about not having read it yet, but I really need to read it. I do think I may have to reread the first book, The Stolen Heir, because I just, it was so long ago that I read it. I want to refresh on like the characters and where we left off and all of that. I love the world of Elfham. I love the Cruel Prince series. It's like one of my favorite YA fantasies. And uh, I really enjoyed re-entering the world with The Stolen Heir, so I'm excited to see again this one. And I believe it was just a duology, so we're going to be finishing up with this book, which is like both sad but also like exciting because then I don't have to like wait and anticipate a third book. Still on that like why, why kind of fantasy trend is our Violent Ends. Okay, here's the thing. I read Our Violent Delights back either at the very end of 2020 or the beginning of 2021. This book then came out in 2021 and I was not in the mindset to read this because from everything I've heard it follows like the actual Romeo and Juliet ending. I'm, I don't know, I'm really nervous about it. All signs are kind of pointing to it not having a happily ever after, which made me nervous and made me not want to read it. So now at this point, I do probably have to reread the first one and read this one. I am determined though to actually finish this duology because I loved the first one. I thought the writing was just so fun and it was just such a, a cool world that Chloe Gong built and that everything was set in. I think the whole like 1920s Shanghai um, setting for this book just was so well thought out and I can't wait to see how this finishes. Actually, I can wait to see. I don't know, I'm nervous. <laughs> Probably the one that has been on my list for the longest. It's either Our Violent Ends or this one. We Free the Stars by Hafsa Faisal. <laughs> I know, I know. I did read the first one back in like March 2020. I think that was like one of my first books in lockdown, which is crazy to think about when I was like, mm, it'll just be like two weeks to a month that I'll be in my house. <laughs> what a time. Anyway, I do have to definitely reread the first one of this series because I don't remember a thing. I do remember really enjoying the magic. I thought the magic was really cool. I remember it had the concept of like darkness being a place and uh, I like almost a living entity and I love that trope in fantasies. I think that that is such a cool like magic system. I also remember just being really intrigued by the relationship. I mean we have like an assassin, we have a prince. Yeah, that's kind of all I'm really remembering right now. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna have to reread book one, but I really want to read this one, especially since I have such a gorgeous edition. I think it's so pretty. It's from Illumicrate, it has like just gorgeous art on it. And I, I feel like it's a waste that it's sitting here and I haven't read this yet. <laughs> a couple more, um, moving away from the YA fantasy. Still in the fantasy realm though is Fortuna Sworn. I read the first three books like two years ago and I just absolutely binged them. The thing about this series is I don't know if I really enjoyed it that much. That sounds terrible. I did really like it. I thought that the world and the magic was really interesting. I remember the writing being a little mm, at times, 
but I was so compelled by the story that I just kept on reading. I read the first three books and then the fourth one had like just come out but I was listening on audio and the audio hadn't come out yet so I hadn't read that yet. At this point I think there's six books out total and there's going to be like eight if I'm correct if I saw that correctly I don't know I could be pulling that number totally out of nowhere. I want to catch up with the rest of the series so read four five and six and then hopefully be caught up when the rest of the series comes out because again I just think the magic in the world and it's it's so like dark and eerie at times and uh, I really, really loved it. I do also really want to finish the Creature Cafe series by Cleo Evans. I recently finished the Warts and Claws series, which I actually didn't realize was a spinoff of these books. But you don't have to have read these books in order to read the Warts and Claws series, but there are the certain references to it. I read book one, again, probably three years ago or so, so I'm gonna have to reread it. This is a collection of short stories, so they're all like 150 pages long. This is volumes one and two. I think there's five stories in both of these. And then since then, she's also come out with a lot more. The series is set around a cafe where a barista sets up supernatural creatures with humans, and it's just so fun. Um, and very spicy. It's such a good time. I binged the Warts and Claws series, so I know I'm just gonna absolutely fall in love with this one as well. And I remember really loving book one, so I'm just gonna love this series. I'll probably end up binging it at some point really soon. Last but not least is a book that I also read the first one for Classic Literature Book Club, and that is a Lesson in Thorns. I really loved this book. It is absolutely bonkers, as are like kind of all Sierra Simone books. I also finished reading the American Queen series, which is, let me tell that, I read monster romances on the regular. That series is off the wall bonkers. This one, probably just as much. I really loved this book though. I thought the relationships were so interesting. I just think her storytelling is so wild. And anytime you think you know what's going to happen, you don't know. Don't try to predict things. So I'll definitely be finishing up this series. The other, there's three more books. Okay, those are all of the series. And well, those are some of the series, but those are all the series I'm like planning on finishing this year. I definitely have a lot more <laughs> that I probably need to finish at some point in my life and it'll happen. Probably not this year though. Let me know if you've read any of these, if you think there is a particular series that I should start with. If you like this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you aren't already, go ahead and hit subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you get notified every single time I post. And go ahead and leave a comment below giving the book stack emoji if you've watched all the way to the end. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time, bye.